Well, I've made you all have a lot of doubts about Zome. Have you wondered if we had quit, if we had already stopped this project? And that's not the case at all. It's scheduled for, if I'm not mistaken, the beginning of July. By then, we need to have all the pieces ready to start assembling it, so to speak. We have to finish a few things there at the base, put in the platform, and then the dome goes on top of that. So, no, we haven't stopped. The thing is, the process of creating each piece, there are a lot of pieces. I'll show you how many in a moment. And the process isn't as fast as it seems. So, today I don't know if it's going to be a long video, a short one, I don't know. I'm going to show you the complete process of creating, of building each piece of the zone of each rhombus from the very beginning. From the moment we select the slats, make the angled cuts with the miter saw, join them with the template, create the piece, put the oriented strand board board on it to keep it square, and then add the vapor barrier. So after putting all that together, we would have each piece ready. And now I'm going to tell you, if I'm not mistaken, I don't know if it's about 80 or 85 pieces. Let's see. There are 12 levels. The first has 10 pieces, the second 11, the third 10, the fourth 11, the fifth 12, and from there to the end, 12. The sixth, seventh, and eighth have 12 pieces each. So that makes a total of 90 pieces. Uh, I'm going to show you the complete process now from when we select the planks to when we put on the vapor barrier, the entire process without cuts of exactly how long it takes us to make each piece. So you can see it and keep it in mind. And that's it. In the next few weeks, when we have all the pieces, we're missing a couple of levels when we have all the pieces. That's when we'll start building the Zome. We're really looking forward to it, really. Straight along this length, which has two sides, let's say. This is the important one, because it's the one used to build the rhombuses. With this one, we can adjust it a bit if there's a curve. I mean, it's more important for this one to be straight than for this one. Uh, since it's an angle, the idea is to transfer the length here. That's why I bring it down with the square. It's a process I could skip or do with the template. But to make it extremely precise, it has to be done like this, by hand, without moving the angles. And above all, keeping the angle of the mitre saw.
What can go? What kind of materials are there? One that lasts, withstands the sun, and withstands water. And I don't know. There are a lot of things we do it like we've done before. Yes, yes, yes. Between the two of us. Like scissors. Is that what you're taking? Bottles? What are you handing me? No, nothing. Like your own experience. This one here? A little more, come on. Do you have it like that? Perfect. There's a regulator to mark. Mouse, mouse, or the misalignment. But how much do I put on each of these cheeses? One package? No, not one package. No, 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 there aren't that many left for each one. No, no. We'd have to see now how much is being spent. Okay, the other side. Hey, this is heavy. Here we have a ton of pieces already made, a bunch of levels. Ready with the vapor barrier with this waterproof sheet, we have them stored here. Because right now the greenhouse isn't functioning as a greenhouse. But it can protect all these pieces from the rain so they don't get ruined, and so on. You've already seen what the process is like, what the complete process is like, right? Some are a bit faster, others are a bit slower. Well, that's approximately the time it takes us to make each piece. And there are 90 pieces. Well, there are a few more. Because the sides of the door also have extra pieces that aren't there. Some triangles and the door itself as well. So that's the complete process. That's the process we have to do with each piece. Then the top part is going to be glazed. In this case, we're deciding between polycarbonate and methacrylate. Well, there are different options on the table. We're considering different options, options, prices and a series of things we have to analyze. And no, we haven't put aside the zombie project, not at all. Uh, we've been on hold for a few days, but well, uh, we're back. We have very few pieces left to make, very few pieces left to finish. We just have a few details left on the base. Besides putting on the oriented strand board boards, there's not much more to add. Honestly, we're really looking forward to showing you the project. In fact, we've created the page because we want to involve people. We want to involve everyone who wants to collaborate and participate. There are a number of rewards and we've left the link in the description of this video. Just in case. And well, everything, everything is welcome. Whether you want to help contribute or get one of the highest rewards. Everything is great. Everything is fantastic. Now we're going to keep doing our thing. We're going to keep working these days so we can have it ready for July and really get going with this dome. It's going to be, without a doubt, one of a kind in the world. When we say it's going to be a one of a kind construction in the world, that's exactly what it is.
and we have no doubt that you are going to be fascinated when you see it built. Now, is it possible that you can imagine it, that you don't have the ability to visualize it, but it's really going to be an absolutely crazy construction? We're really looking forward to showing it to you when it's finished and of course to enjoying it ourselves. So we'll leave the link down below and see you in the next video. Until next time.